Hey, what's going on, guys? It's partner. You're back for another video. Today, we are on One Shot MC for a, another video for you guys. Today, we'll be talking about carpet comps. Now, carpet comps are, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, the fastest sand comp that you can get in Minecraft canoning. I'll be explaining why, and I'll also be explaining how this carpet comp works, why it works, and why it's the fastest. So, we'll hop right into the video. So, in order to actually make the sand comp, you should know how it works. So, in these inside the sand copy you can see we got pistons and well you got <laughs> the carpet so what's happening is these pistons retract or uh, extend and retract every three game ticks now if you guys don't know in a piston it takes a full three game ticks for it to fully retract and for it to fully extend so if we go over here you can see this the little in between part of it extending and retracting so that in between thing is called block 36 so they go i36 you can see piston moving piece piston moving piece that is the in between state now in this sand comp what's happening is these pistons are constantly in that state they're never like this they're never fully retracted or never fully extended they are never like that they're always right in between now it's kind of hard to see it within it you can kind of see uh it within when it's firing but that's kind of how it works it's always within that so every single three game ticks uh it'll go off this one three game ticks later go off again three ticks, game ticks later go off and like i said it takes three game ticks for the piston to fully extend and fully retract with that in between state being block 36. so it's kind of how it works it's not based off of a glitch or a bug or anything else it has full minecraft physics incorporated into it it works perfectly fine with minecraft nothing confusing about that when you're doing this though, you do need these ladders under it. The sand still technically needs a block, a quote unquote block to rest on because it's not technically on. Well, it's technically on the carpet, but it's not technically resting on it. If you do not have these uh, ladders here, what actually happened is the sand would fall through and that's not what you want. You don't want the sand to fall through, obviously. So you do still technically need something for the sand to rest on. So continuing with this, this sand comp is a 2.4 second 255 sand comp. All the sand right here is actually 256 sand, so you could like lose one sand, it'll be fine, but shouldn't have to. But yeah, it is a 2.4 second, it works amazingly 2.4 seconds, there's no problems with it, and it works great. So all this back here is the redstone behind it, that's just the little clock that I set up there, so we can uh, have that in later. But this is the redstone. It is all extremely compact. This is most likely one of the most compact 255 uh, reusable sand comp, 2.4 second sand comps. At least it's the smallest that I've seen. It is currently 8 blocks wide by 25 blocks long, including that booster. If I got rid of that booster, it would be like 3 blocks less. Uh, but I'm including it. So yeah, it is a very, very small sand comp indeed. So, all this redstone here makes it work. Like I said, it is super compact, so I'll be trying to get to everything. So down here, you can see we just have the basic wiring for the actual dispensers. You can see here, that's the wiring for that. Go straight into there. And we can have the repeaters right there. And then some right there, powering the top ones. And another one right there. And then branching right off of that, we have the redstone torch. Now, this pretty much keeps this extended, this piston extended, and when it retracts, it's going to go back and forth and that's that three game tick thing that I was talking about you can kind of barely see it it's in that constant piston moving state it's kind of hard to tell uh, but it's definitely always in that state and then when it goes back on it'll keep it extended and it won't be going so those two game ticks are actually pretty crucial because if I made it earlier the sand would actually or it would stop moving back and forth before the TNT exploded so it wouldn't actually get fired and if I had it going a bit later, the sand might not make it in because it might not be moving yet. So this is the perfect timing and the perfect capacitor for that timing. So continuing it off, we have the redstone glowstone thing right here going straight up and over to here. This is the timing for the 2.4. This timing is crucial because it is the perfect timing for the pistons to open and to retract. So. What's happening is, you can see here, we have all these timings right here. If I made it one tick earlier, what would happen is the sand would actually open a bit too early for the next shot, the shot after a shot, and then the sand would get, that's currently inside of it, would get shot out. One tick later, and it might not close in time. So there's a really, really small room for error, 
in that. Uh, we also have this little line of redstone. This is also pretty crucial because if I were to have uh, the repeater right here, this capacitor would actually hold out too long. So it would be open for too long and right here what we have is perfect for 8 blocks of sand. It's literally perfect. It does not allow any more blocks to fall rather than those 8 blocks. So as you can also see, we have the redstone piston here. This also allows it for an 18, not 18, sorry, 16 hole pseudo because as I said, it is 8 blocks high. So 8 times 2, 16. Uh, you guys have probably seen this on my other cannons with the 16 block or 16 hole pseudo. I've done it on my other cannons. I've used the sand cup on my other cannons. So you guys have definitely seen it before. So now getting on to why this actually is the fastest sand comp to use. So in other sand comps, there is certain factors that will slow it down like the actual time for the sand to fall and the time for the sand to get out of the cobweb. But in this, the only thing that's really limiting you is how fast you can open and close the pistons. The sand can still be falling into the sand comp, like if it's right here, it can still be falling. It can't be trapped inside of this block, I just made a mistake, ah uh, no. It can't actually be still inside of that block, otherwise it will get shot out. But you should be able to prevent that by, well, being able to close it fast enough. But that's the really only limiting factor for the speed of this is just how fast the sand comp can close and how much sand is falling. So if I were to make this like, I don't know, a 60 stacker, I could probably make it a lot faster because there's a lot less sand needing to be fall, need, needing to fall. I could probably make it around maybe a bit more than, maybe one second, a bit more than one, a bit faster than one second, but we would have to see. Um, but that's the only limiting factor of the sand comp is the amount of sand that has to fall into the actual carpets. But in other sand comps, there's the actual piston uh, or the piston needing to get the sand out of the cobweb and also the factors that just slow it down in general so now getting off right into it we're gonna fire one shot with just the sand you guys can kind of see it so fire it the buttons right there so the sand falls and right away it closes and the sand will go into here obviously most of it went on to the slab right there as it should have yeah, so it works perfectly. I will set the sand again, so you guys can see. Nope, not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> so you guys will be able to see the sand fall right here, and it just kind of resting on top of the actual thing, so as you can see. There is a visual glitch where the sand is actually falling, but it does not fall through. Uh, you can kind of see it if I fire it again. See, that is 100% a visual glitch, otherwise it's just not there as you can see we also have the infinite booster it's just only five dispensers per one that's all you really need these trapdoors are necessary because when firing faster what actually happened is if these weren't here this tnt would like fire to this side and then it would just cause sand loss and that's not what we wanted so we just added a bunch of trapdoors here to limit the sand loss so now actually firing it at 2.4 seconds you guys will be able to see that every single timing works out perfectly and there is no little sand loss in there at all so all i gotta do is press the button here and it'll start going off and there we go i do have tnt toggle because i would start lagging absolutely horribly horribly with the sand and seeds here but as you can see the sand is going in perfectly you would know it's not going in perfectly if sand was starting to stack all around us and obviously that's not happening as you can see, the pistons are closing right in time for the TNT to explode and opening right in time for the TN for the previous sand not to get shot out of the cannon, which has been a problem in the past. But you can see all the time it's worked out perfectly. We go over here, you can see all the sand. These are all stacked right there. I don't know what to say. They're just kind of becoming entities over there. So now we're going to stop it. There we go. Last nice shot right here should be. And there you go, that is that is it at full 2.4. So yeah, in theory, you would have uh, sand loaders actually loading the sand on top so you wouldn't run out of sand, um, so you could keep firing on auto. This is a button spammer sand comp, and it works perfectly with 2.4 as I said. But yeah, this is the super duper compact 2.4255 sand comp. I used this on my last cannon, my uh, super duper small 2.4 second cannon, adjustable XY, all that stuff you guys have seen that video. Very, very nice and compact cannon with a very, very nice and compact sand comp. Obviously, need if you're doing a compact cannon, need a compact sand comp, right? So yeah, this is how this cannon works. It is, or this sand comp works. It is super duper nice. 
uh, there will be a download in the description for it also it'll be on my scam shop on one shot mc all you gotta do is scam shop view view high one two one two and you can see i have my scams here uh, i did actually upload that uh two shot or two spot on the one wall cannon so you guys can see that there and yeah so that's all you gotta do guys but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like if you guys are new please subscribe that'd be super duper nice and yeah i'm gonna pack guys and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out